Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another let's play franchise mode series this is the second episode and i see a naughty naughty camel again rudy you are the most naughty camel i have ever known but the good thing is we're getting tons of little babies so i'm really really happy with that as you can see there is another there are two more camels entering our habitat and as you can see i did do a few changes off camera. I made sure that there are some more palm trees in here and some more rocks and just to make it a little bit more beautiful. And I also uh, built a little bit more water over here. I'm not really sure what else I did change. Yes, I did change something. I divided the habitat into two different areas. So obviously there must come some kind of door or anything around here. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually um, quite surprised how this is looking with obviously some awesome blueprints. We are building this with my lovely Discord community. If you want to provide some small blueprints, definitely go and check out my Discord server. The link is in the description down below. And um, so yeah, it's, a, it's going to be very exciting because we do have uh, some more... We have tons of new blueprints, so that is really exciting. Uh, obviously, we can't use everything at the same time. There are a few things of my own, but if you want to use it, everyone, uh, all the blueprints are added in the collection list that I also added in the description. So if you're going to build a desert too and you need some small little blueprints, definitely go and check it out. There are awesome creators here. Look, and their names are even in the titles now. That is really amazing. Unfortunately, not for everyone. So if you have any questions still about that, definitely just ask in the server. But I see... At least Bobson, um, I'm not really sure who else. <laughs> there are at least so many. Um, Elitist S, I think it is. So yeah, there are definitely some really awesome stuff. I really hope you guys can all add your names in a later stage so we can uh, do proper shout outs because I'm just really thankful that you guys are creating some really awesome stuff. I'm really, really happy with how this one is looking, to be honest. Like, I had no idea yet of how we should do a desert biome, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Rudy, oh my goodness. <laughs> You're ba- Oh gosh, I need contraceptive soon, or I just really need to make sure that we're gonna uh, put all the camels up for adoption in the later stage or in the trading center, or release them in the wild, I don't care. I mean, oh, this is so cool. I love it. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. You you are a naughty camel. You know that, right? Okay, so let's wait until it's daytime and we also have some more money. Uh, I think money is doing pretty decent, especially if you have more camels in. Like, the higher rating you have, the more money and guests you get in your, um, <laughs> in your zoo. Someone mentioned to me, you don't really need any uh, facility buildings, but like before you got like a 500 guests in your zoo but as you can see it's super busy right now i actually tend to uh, get some more because i'm pretty sure that the income is also coming from the shops here and we have some ticket sales oh maybe we can uh, already raise the ticket prices i'm not really sure but we could try with one dollar maybe uh, we're gonna add another animal in this uh, zoo i have no idea yet but we're definitely uh, gonna make something awesome for it but let's make sure it's daytime first so there are plenty of animals you can add here and i did see a few suggestions of like a pronghorn or a springbok or an aardvark even uh, i do really like it like all those animals so we're definitely going to add as many like uh, as many animals uh, that like a warm climate so definitely mostly african animals and more tropical south american animals uh but i it wouldn't be a the ladies franchise if we would not add a bongo i i i just i just can't handle it i just really really want to add a bongo <laughs> in here i just love the bongo too much bongos are definitely one of my favorite animals together with like the warthog, like, they're, oh, they're so adorable. 
So what I want to do is I want to change a little bit right over here. So I'm going to quickly move you. There's nothing else connected to you. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to have like a little area right over here, like more of a backstage area, if you could call it that way. So at least like an, a, a little pathway for our bongos to use. Uh, and we can add like that little gate over there. Like the other gate, we're definitely... Uh, going to make nice and pretty also, but we for now Mostly need to make sure that everything is functional, but our money is doing really really well at the moment So I'm actually not even that much worried about it But what we should do is we should add a fence here Can we connect you? Yes, thank you very much so we're going to delete these guys and we're gonna delete you so this is like a little open area. I'm not really sure. I think the mongos do need some shelter too. So that is going to be nice if we're uh, going to build some kind of shelter because we have some really cool shelters. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't think we need too much shelter for the camels. So I think we are fine if we don't have any shelter. We are in a desert and they, they can handle colder climates they can handle warmer climates the camels so i think it's all gonna be fine so the bongos can handle my favorite chain link fence at least that is what i hope yeah i'm pretty sure the bongo can oh my god i can't wait to see some baby derpy face bongos in our zoo guys i know everyone that knows my series you guys all know that the bongos are definitely my favorite animals in this game. I love the bongo so much. And we also, I also recently uh, made an emote uh, <laughs> for chats with a derpy dumb bongo face. Like I just, I just had to. I had to, guys. I'm, I, <laughs> I love the bongo so much. Maybe raise this a little bit like that. So it's like a very nice, smooth area where they can come down. You see, that is nice because you can't see the gate for a staff. But we do need to connect it. I am actually thinking to maybe connect it from the back side. I'm actually thinking to maybe have a, a guest path on the back side in a later stage. I think that could be nice. And I really want to do more with like elevations and stuff. Um, and I also like, like comparing to the previous episode we did or the series we did. I... Back then, I really left a lot of space to um, to like be able to edit it in a later stage, like to do make it more beautiful and stuff. But I actually feel like we can really create something beautiful here, and I I don't want to ruin it this time. I want to be happy with how everything looks right when I build it. So I'm really gonna try to take a different approach, and really gonna try to make something beautiful out of it. Uh, as soon as possible like we're not going to do any speed builds so i i really think we should be able to do that we have some really awesome blueprints here so what i want to try and see i want to try and search for shelters now this is definitely a really cool shelter i bobson he made it with like african pieces and it's just it's just so cool i really love this style I really do, even though it's a bit small, maybe. Uh, so we have this shelter. This is also really cool, by the way. Oh my god, Bobson, you created these shelters. I don't know who did, made these, but also these are really nice. I really like just, just a really strong, older wood. This is really well made. I really like it. Like, you can tell that some of the... Um, of the logs are just not like entirely connected so it really looks like a more older older thing what is that a desert food cord oh my goodness that is so cool <gasps> we're gonna use this at the entrance i don't know who made it i'm so sorry i'm, I'm going to uh, add it in a text if i don't know if it's not in a name but it would be lovely if you guys could all add it in the blueprint section, but this is really, really nice. I really like that. How much does it cost? We have that money. We have that money, but first things first, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna pause the game for just a bit 
and you do you have enough room you definitely have enough space so that is something we well we don't have to worry about it you do need a shelter so we first going to add a shelter so we have a wood animal shelter 8 by 12 i think that one is a little bit too big i really like this one i can't really choose between this one and that one I, I, this one is maybe a little bit too modern but i really like it okay okay i'm, I'm gonna go for it for this one even though it might not fit it, it's just so cool i i honestly i love this one this is so good um uh, maybe we should add it a little bit here in the back so we can hide it away just a little bit with surround it with some rocks and some plants maybe i do have to check though if they are able to just walk underneath it but, i mean if, if it's not working if it's not enough okay it's not enough uh but i i don't really want to add another one so then I'm, I'm just gonna decide to go for this one instead because i know this one will be big enough shall we just place it the same why is it getting dark already days are going so fast i think i'm really i really want to add it like to the back side of this area i really love this one too so i think this is uh, this is definitely also going to fit and i think i'm just gonna add some rocks what i do want to have uh, is some water so shall we just add a little bit of these green things like with plants i think these are african plants so that should work is that enough space for the bungo to walk around Ah, uh, yeah, that must be big enough. If not, I'm gonna eat my shoes. I mean, that that would be really weird. I might change you. I think that could work. So let's create some kind of water feature. And I think I'm gonna use this one instead now because the other one was a bit harder to create. Uh, and I, I'm going to tell you guys, for those who don't know, I, I I hate the water pipes in this game. I really am not a fan of them. I don't like how they look. I, I don't know. They're there. I, I know. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of them. So whatever happens, I am going to try to give each and every animal their own little water section, which isn't that bad because we are in a very beautiful biome here. And to give them an area where they can also have a little swim to cool down, I think that is just the best thing to do in this case and it also just looks way more pretty. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna fill you up. I think this is this is enough. Yeah, this is definitely enough. So what kind of terrain do these bongos like to see? So we have some grass. Um, Oh, we need to make sure that that water pump is also covering this section. I'm not really sure if it would be able to. Okay, I'm definitely just gonna change the opening times for our zoo because I think it's too dark. Especially, I love the, the, the night times, but Habitat has no keepers assigned. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, but I, I just, I love the night times, but for a video, it's just, <laughs> I can't imagine it's just way too dark for it. So yeah, let's just not do that <laughs> for now. So let's go to work zone. Let's edit this work zone just for now. And I'm going to have one more keeper assigned to that roster and that will be you so camel and bongo habitat and what do i want to do again okay so i'm gonna name this one and we're gonna add some things for bongos because obviously they do need some stuff in their habitat so we're going to give them some hay and just a big one maybe a few one like that okay that is already re really nice so how about the plants and stuff am i right that you 
African tropical, you're not exactly happy with the... Okay, well that's okay. We can just go for some rocks instead. Probably something like that. And then I think I'm just gonna add a few uh, of the trees of, of my own because I'm not really sure which one <laughs> they do like. So let's make sure that they have some food and stuff. So let's give them a grazing ball feeder. I think that one could be cool if we add it right over here. So we have them very close to our guests. So sample, that should be good. And let's smooth this out just a little bit more. And is there anything else we can add? We can add a grab ball because obviously they do would like to play a little bit. Maybe a large ball too. Yeah, I think they would like that. So let's add a large ball right over here. And then maybe a small barrel feeder. What do they need? Okay, they're actually really happy with it so far. So let's not do that because they might get super bored. What we do not want to forget, what I almost did. Uh, oh, you also bring along your research. That's why I was like, why is everything already unlocked? But that makes sense. Okay, they're pretty stressed, so we need to make sure that that is covered. Do you just need more plants? Okay, you need more plants. So I'm first going to add... <laughs> Let's first add a sign and some donation boxes, because we are definitely missing out on a lot of money right now and that's not what we want so we're going to add nope just one is enough thank you very much and uh, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and uh, we're gonna add a bungo here too did i select the bungo here yes i did okay perfect let's lower it down into the ground and now i'm gonna make sure that we have some donation boxes oh wait we already have donation boxes because i put them down for the camel so that is Good, so now what do we need? We need some plants, so we go to Africa. Tropical. There you go. And now, oh, we can add those palm trees too. I like that. Um, so what shall we do? Let's just add a palm tree on this side then. And just add a bigger one. Because then we can keep a little bit of the same style, which is actually really nice. Uh, I actually thought that this one also was Tropical Africa, but yeah, well, that's my bad, I guess. That's not really the case. Um, but that is fine. I think a few other trees and stuff is, is definitely something the bongos don't really mind. And I think we will not really be able to tell it. Like, the kava gel already green. Obviously, they don't like that many plants, but it's like a very low percentage. So I don't really think we will get too many issues with this. So I think I just want to add another palm tree in this corner, maybe? Maybe a smaller one? No, let's go for a bigger one instead. And I'm just gonna add you, like, here. So you also look a little bit like fitting into those palm trees right over there and I'm gonna add just one more of these. I just really like these hanging ones. They always remind me of Planet Coaster. I really love them. So I just really like that. Okay, so we have another palm tree right over there. Is there anything cool we could maybe use? Maybe lower a little bit into the ground? Like to have a little bit of shrubs where they can just walk through. It will not hurt their traversable area. I think that's nice also to have a little bit of green on the edges and I like these trees so that is going to be fine uh, they they like a lot of coverage though so we could go really crazy with that but I'm not going to do that we are in a desert biome so I should not overdo it even though I tend to I tend to overdo it <laughs> because I just really like a lot of green and stuff. I do want to add a little bit. Oh no, we already have too much long grass. Shoot. There's a little bit in this corner. Oh, okay. Now it's good. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, let's have a look. Is there anything else we can do? Oh yeah, they are stressed. So we need those uh, de-stressing signs. 
I'm not really sure. Security. There you go. Do not disturb signs. Those are ones we need. Let me see. I don't really like how these look. So. I know they do work underneath the ground. So let's put them down underneath the ground. We can check this with the security. As you can see, they do turn blue. I, uh, I think we are good. I think we are definitely good and that these guests definitely can tell that the bongos don't really like stress. I'm unsure if we would want to rotate this one a little bit because they are all very, very stressed, which is really sad. Bongo Derby face, how can you be so stressed? The signs don't really seem to work that much. Do we really need a glass wall? We don't want that. Let's just wait until it's daytime again and see if, if the signs will start to work. Okay, I'm not really sure. It's starting to get morning now and you did change the opening times a little bit more to 8 to 6. So 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I think that is uh, the best time to make sure that it's not getting too dark. They do get pretty easily stressed still, so I'm not really sure why some do, some don't, so I'm, I'm gonna look into that. I am unsure whether we need some one-sided glass here, like we don't want one-sided glass here, do we? But if they got like super stressed, we get protesters, and that is definitely something we really don't want to see i'm super unhappy with this like i really was hoping that yeah well it's the downside of just playing sandbox mode right i mean that is basically it okay let's see if we can replace this with some one-sided glass i am not really a fan but we gotta do what we gotta do so make it 150 is actually not high enough 180 Oh, I really don't like this. I don't like this at all. We might want to replace the animals instead, but I want bongos. I want bongos. So what I want to do next is I want to uh, make sure, I want to make sure that we have a nice restaurant at the entrance like that. And I'm going to just purify this. So yeah, I think this is a temporary habitat then for the bongos. They are super welcome in our zoo, but obviously not the best fit if we need a one-sided glass here. But hey, okay, we will replace them in the next episode and you guys may tell me what kind of animals should be in there and then we're gonna build another habitat for the bongos instead. Um, so, okay, we have here a Cosmic Cow Ice Cream and a Pip Shop Smoothie. We have 34,000 right now on our bank account. So we do definitely need another information kiosk. Oh, that's right. We need to make sure that this one is... Are you overlapping? No, you're not. So I'm going to replace you to the back side here. But you also do need electricity. And what I understand is that you don't need electricity at your entrance. And these guys don't even have electricity. Oh my goodness, we are really not prepared. But that one is now covering it, right? If I move you, yes, you are covering that staff room and keeper hut. Okay, so that is electricity now. We have a water pump right over here so our animals won't get sick. Okay, that is nice. Do we already have a baby camel? <gasps> we do. Oh my gosh. I totally missed out on the message. <gasps> you are freaking cute. <gasps> you are adorable. <gasps> no way. I remember camel saying this to me, but I honestly... I never paid attention to it. Look how cute that little face is. You're kidding me? That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Rudy, you're a daddy now. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely adorable. But we do need to make sure that we're not getting more baby camels. Well, maybe they... We can sell them. I mean, 
Do we really have to bother too much? I'm not really sure. That depends how quick they can get pregnant again. So if we check... <laughs> we check the camels. Um, six years. Number of offspring, one. Gestation, 13 months. Yeah, okay. No, um, I think as long as the camels don't grow up, I feel we should definitely make sure... Oh, no, we should do that right over here. We need to make sure that they don't get any more babies because owls were definitely, definitely screwed. So we probably have... Okay, we only have one more. Is about to have offspring. Okay, so that is perfect. So we can just make sure that all the camel ladies have contraceptives so they are not able to get any more babies even not when these guys grow up depends a little bit what kind of new baby we are getting right over here so show me what you got <laughs> oh my goodness those small little babies those camel babies are absolutely adorable are you gonna lie down for me oh <gasps> you are amazing What shall it be? I think it's a male. I am guessing it's a male. It is a male. Oh, I'm so good. Yes. Oh, that is adorable. I really, really like them. Did we get any baby females though? Uh, oh yeah, we did. Okay, so it takes six years for them to grow up. So we do have plenty of time. How are the bongos doing right now? Are they still stressed? Okay, the animals are a little bit too hot, which I actually was a little bit afraid of so now i'm curious because we're working with temperatures so it's like super duper hot here and it's actually not even cooling down when it's like under trees or anything you can't really tell the difference so um yeah this is going to be a thing we need to put down coolers because we don't want we don't want animals being too hot so I'm gonna just first pause the game and one over here. I'm not really sure how far your range will be. And obviously we're not gonna make it like super cool. We just wanna make it like 30 degrees or so because their max is 40 degrees. So 44 degrees is just too warm. So that's why I think, I think, and I hope that it will not cost us too much money if it's not like a lot of cooling, like especially in these temperatures, if you would add like a super cold animal, it real realistically, it would cost like tons of money. So hopefully that is not going to be the case. So I'm just gonna lower these down and hope for the best with their habitat and how cold it will be. So do we see this change over time? It does, it works. It's starting to get cooler. And it's only not covering this section. So I think we just need to add one more. Can I find you? I'm not really sure where you are exactly. Here you are. Okay, that one. So I'm gonna copy you. I'm gonna add one more at the gate. So this is actually perfect. The only question is how much will it cost us? That is going to be the challenge. All right, so the entrance, it's getting super busy right now over here. So what I want to do, uh, we have we have plenty of money, so I'm going to delete these. So we have Pip Shop Water and Cosmic Cow Ice Cream. So I'm going to take one of the blueprints. Desert Food Court, there it is. Okay, I'm not really sure from who it is, but I will put it in. I will definitely put it in uh, the text in the video later when, when I'm editing. So I think we're just going to... Ah, uh, do we have space for it though? I want to use this one. I really like it. And I actually think that we should just put it down like so. So that the guests will not right away uh, be able to walk in there. I think that makes sense. Like we have a very nice planter here. We might want to move it a little bit because we have really awesome planters. So we can really have a nice looking area here. Yeah, I think we should leave a little bit of space right over there. 
So do we need to lower it more? Because I see some things floating here. Yep, we need to. So we're gonna put you down and I think, because this is a very nice area where we could put, could put down some picnic benches. I really like that. So I'm gonna just connect you. Is that how we should do it? We have even some more space. And there are toilets? Oh, I like that. So what are you? Information center? Isn't that going to be too busy? We also have... <laughs> How's that education board? Um, well, the bungos are on this side. Let's do that. Let's just add the bungos. Just do it. Oh, we also have... Oh my god, this is a multifunctional one. I like that. Um, ecotourism and climate change. I think I'm going to use those two. Are there any more signs in here? I don't think so. Okay, so let's add the shops we wanted to add. I'm actually thinking of how we should do this because this is probably eight wide. So we can select a grid. Perfect. I hope. I hope this will connect. Yes, this is the perfect one. So we can just connect this. So we can have a very nice area here for some picnic benches. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. I really like this one. Um, I can just connect you. There's a sh yeah, there are toilets here, so we can connect the toilets later. So we just need to make sure that we get some bins to make sure that the people will not like <laughs> walk through all the walls. And honestly, that is the last thing I'm going to be super bothered about at this stage. Um, hmm. I actually feel that we may want to just make this a little bit wider and connect it like so. So we're gonna deselect the grid and I'm gonna build like that. Uh, I'm not gonna bother too much at this point about curves and barriers, I think. I'm just gonna add one here on these sides and we need to connect the toilets there you go so everything is connected right now no it's not um oh wait i have an idea sometimes it helps to just make sure that this one is that still in connected okay there you go just move it a little bit oh no that's not good Ooh, do it again okay select Select group. Okay, now like that. And then I'm gonna split from group. Select group, press X. And then we can also connect that one. And we're gonna do the same with this one. Split from group, select group, press X. And then move it so it gets connected right over here. This is awesome. Okay, so let's put down some picnic benches. Oh man, this I like this one. Thank you so much, whoever created this one. So if you want to, you can also download this one from the workshop. I have a whole collection list in the description down below. So definitely check it out. I think I'm gonna go for eight. I just leave it open in the middle section or not. Who cares? We can just we can just add one in here. It's not perfectly aligned, but just pretend that people use it and they move it like they're with a big group and they're starting to use it with a whole big group or whatever, something like that. Ah, oh, this looks really cool! I really like this. I really, really like this. I'm not really sure if we have enough. Um, like, we have uh, one extra water shop, so I'm not really sure if this is going to cover everything we need. But do we maybe have something more? All right, no, we're going to leave it for now. And I think I'm just going to ask in the Discord server if anyone could create something a little bit similar, maybe the same creator, uh, to have... Maybe also a facility building, something big that includes all these things, like all these buildings here. 
So we have a veterinarian, quarantine, staff room, uh, workshop, research center, and trading center. And uh, yeah, we I think we definitely could use another building like this. Well, look, how would it look if we just add another one, like facing that direction? Would that be like uh, super weird? I think so. Yeah, I think we definitely need something else that could fit here. Maybe something like so, and uh, that we have some nice area here for the entrance where the guests can get all the things they need. What I want to add, just one more thing, is I want to make sure that we have some ATMs. No, that is not finance. That's the thing. So I want to add some ATMs and I might just want to add them right here close to the toilets. I think I'm just going to add one like so. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Thank you guys so much. I really hope. Let me know in the comment section what you guys <laughs> think of this awesome food cord. And uh, thank you for the one that created it. Uh, as I said, I will put your name in the in the <laughs> in the text that pops up in the video. Bongo is a guy about to mate. Derpy Bongo face incoming. Oh, I love it. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need to make sure that uh, we re just replace the bungos. I'm not really sure if I uh, like to have glass in this entrance area. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a, a habitat for some other animal. Definitely give me some suggestions if you have any. And uh, yeah, join my Discord server if you want to provide me with some awesome blueprints. And uh, let me know. Every feedback is more than welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.